Okay, my brothers, I have a very good teachable moment for y'all. Good teachable video to give y'all. It's going to be a reaction, so to speak, to something that Amanda Seals recently said that triggered the black red pill, black MGTOW slash black manosphere portion of the web, right? And it's important that you understand why this topic triggered them so much and why what Amanda Seals said was partly a lie. It's important because see, both of them did the same thing. They they both spun the story to protect a certain segment of men. But we're going to talk about this. We're going to get this an alpha breakdown, an alpha perspective. So all together, the clip I'm going to play is probably about a minute and a half, two minutes, right? I'm going to let you hear what Amanda Seals said right behind that. I'm going to let you hear a small clip of how O'Shea, O'Shea Duke Jackson was addressing it. Now, again, shout out to O'Shea. I'm not mad at him. You know, he's not my kind of dude, but, you know, he just, I'm just going to do what I do, you know what I'm saying? But but this is not personal about O'Shea. So anyway, let's roll right here. You know what I didn't realize this is not my for fault. a long time? What? I didn't know I was supposed to be faking the orgasm. I did not know that. Like, legit, okay, so let me just say. So what, do you just sit there quietly? I mean, no, I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing. I'm, but you have to fake the finish so we can wrap it up. I did not know that. So, like, I didn't understand that was mad because I wasn't achieving That's the climax. I did not know that. And then the this one that I dated was like. I hate this bitch. And I was like, why? Because I was having a good time. You hitting yeah. the walls. Yeah. And he was like, you just never finish. And I was like, but you finish. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, but you're not signaling the accomplishment. Just to wrap it up. But I literally had no idea. Like, no one taught me this. He was like, you're not signaling the accomplishment. And it just makes me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm like, but I'm, 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 I'm like, right. I'm, I'm no, here. No, you have to have the final. Ooh. I did not know. Well, but I, you know what? Really? Why aren't I having the final, right? And yeah. it wasn't until I had a dude who really, um, you know, how do I put this? He was broke. And so I think that in his mind, he was like, what? I can't give financially so i'm gonna give vaginally Listen, ain't nobody and gonna you like you need a place to <laughs> stay but he like solved the da vinci code yeah and then i was like oh i can do this the bleaker the future the better that is. so you heard what she had to say the gist of it is amanda seals had to find out about her body from somebody who was broke now why is she dealing with somebody that is broke? Miss Feminist, Mrs. You know, I have it all covered. A man has to do this. A man has to do that. You know, Kevin Samuels is a, he hates black women. So why, why are you even dealing with somebody who's broke? Oh, do you, do you want to talk about it? Oh, because you're there because you, you can't, nobody will deal with you. My brothers, listen, man, there's so much to unpack on this here. I, I don't even know where to start. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's just start from what Amanda Seals said, right? Amanda Seals is full of it. And not so much her, whoever that chick was that was interviewing her, that fat girl, she's the one that's really full of it. Because see how they spun the whole thing. Amanda is admitting that she's been dating these so-called high-value men, right? these upper echelon social economically type brothers and they haven't been doing it for them and you can hear it recounting the story of how the dude felt insecure about the fact that he couldn't get her going he couldn't get her there right he couldn't make her explode so he's actually voicing and talking about where well, i don't feel like i'm doing my job what kind of man talks like that bro i don't feel like i'm doing my job <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel bad for you dudes, man. For real. <laughs> for real, for real, bro. So anyway, he can't get her there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he's disappointed. He feels he feels like, like his manhood has been slighted because he can't get her there. And he's voicing that to her, you know what I'm saying? So now basically he's asking her to fake it. Because that's what he's asking her to do. To pretend like she busts, right? That's what he's doing. So anyway, Amanda, how she spins it, she said, but you know, the question is, why I could not get there? That's really the question. She said, I didn't know I could explode until I got with a different kind of dude. Now, notice that before she said the dude is broke, she said, how can I say this? She was trying to 
figure out how to describe this dude because what she really wanted to say was that he was a man, he was an alpha. That's what she really wanted to say, that this was a man's man. I got with a man's man and this happened. But how she spin it to protect the feelings of these high value men, she said, well, he was broke. You know what I'm saying? So I guess because he couldn't give financially, he was gonna give vaginally, right? That's what she said, her exact words, right? And the fat girl chimes in talking about, oh, ain't nothing like a man, you know, uh, no, nobody's gonna hit it like a man that needs somewhere to stay and all this and stuff. And, they, and they, they, right there, they started belittling the fact that a woman busts from here. And what Amanda Seals is really saying is that she met a man's man that did it for her in here. That to the point where she was so excited to get this man to touch her and to get her hands on that man that she was already ready to explode. And she got there. But how they reduced it, they made it sound like, well, he had nothing else to offer. What else is there to offer? Social economics is not a character thing. It is not a thing that make you innately attractive. Obviously, this man had qualities and characteristics about himself that made him very attractive to Amanda. That's why she was on that hype. That's why she was ready to explode. Most of you dudes probably can't relate to this man, but when a woman is really into you, she busts before you even before you even enter, before you even penetrate. She's already busting. Because it comes from here. You barely touch them and they're already, they, it's, it's gushing. So I know what Amanda was really saying. And, I, 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 and it's a shame that our society, especially in the black community, the way it's structured, we put so much pressure on women to lie about what they like or to try to justify it or demean the men that they like in some other way. The truth of the matter is she just met a dude that didn't spend his life chasing money. She met a dude that was a man's man. He was comfortable in who he was. No, I mean, wherever he was financially, he was comfortable with his manhood. His manhood wasn't tied to his finances. And he walked and he talked like a man. She liked him. She was attracted to him. She got with him. He banged it out. And she had the best sex of her life. And she just can't believe it. But now she can't mess with that man because the truth be told, she's not supposed to mess with that man. She is not supposed to like that man as you heard O'Shea in the end. Now let me go to him and his response. The first thing he says, well, why are you dealing with a man that's broke? And I repeat, social economics and finances are not characteristic things. Anyone can be broke. But what you are on the inside is what you are on the inside. Anyone can be broke. Anyone can be up financially. Anyone can be down financially. We have very little control over that. I'm telling y'all, y'all are gonna have to accept that. I mean, I don't know what you dudes do. I don't know what world y'all live in. You dudes need to come into the real world and get out this fantasy. You have very little control over it, especially if you have a job. Your job could go away tomorrow. Your, your bosses and your, your owners or whatever, they can decide to go a different direction and cut out your whole department or just cut out your job. They can merge with somebody else and just bring in new people. Anything can happen at any given time that will change your financial reality because you don't control it. You are in a system, that is the problem. So being broke within the system is not a characteristic thing. So that's no, so you, when you ask, why are you messing with a man that's broke? It's a silly question. What does money got to do with it? Don't a man that have money? His money has nothing to do with it. She was messing with him because she felt him from within, from, from inside. That's why she was messing with him. So let's go on. Then O'Shea proceeds to say, you know why you mess with a man that's broke? Because the other men don't want to put up with you. Well, what makes you think that the dude that's broke want to put up with him? See, that's the problem with you dudes. What makes you think because the dude is not financially in a certain situation that he wants the chaos of a, of, of a woman like Amanda in his personal life? You could look at Amanda and understand why he hit it. Amanda looks like one of my exes back in the days. And you know what her nickname, I, mean, I swear Amanda like a young version of her, bro. I mean, it's crazy how we made in these modes, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta remember, I'm from New Orleans, so we got these Creoles down there. I keep saying that, you know. I don't just be picking these women out 
It's just that I come from a place where women like Amanda are walking around everywhere. So, so you know, you gotta understand that. But anyway, her nickname, and if she ever see this video, she gonna, she gonna know. <laughs> she, I gotta say her name. Her nickname was Juicy. That's what I call it. That's her nickname for me. That's my pet nickname for her, Juicy. Because that girl was a gusher. You know what I'm saying? And she told me, Juicy told me that no man made her do that before or after. It was just something about me that triggered that in her. But here's the thing, I wasn't broke at the time. I'm broke now. Back then I wasn't broke. Back then I was doing very well financially, very well financially. I wasn't broke at all, not by a long shot. I'm broke now. So yeah, a lot of y'all hear me say I'm broke now. Well, I thought you wasn't on YouTube for money. I'm not. Don't y'all listen to me? I don't, I don't, money don't make me. It don't matter. Money don't make me. I bet I got more saved up than all y'all, but I am broke. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I don't make a lot. I don't, and I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But I do have skills that I can bank on. I do have things that I can do commercially. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm here trying to provide a service to y'all. I mean, because money don't make me. I'm not going to waste my life chasing money, man. Because, I mean, I've had it, lost it, had it again, lost it. I'm telling you that, that I'm not about to waste my life chasing that. If you want to do that, that's fine. But my point is, I wasn't broke when I made Juicy become Juicy. But when you, when you carry yourself a certain way that triggers a certain thing inside of a woman, and that's usually when you're in your alpha state. When you in your proper manhood, that is sexually attractive to women. Very sexually attractive. Yeah, they all respond like that to, to, to a man that's like that. That dude, he didn't, he wasn't thinking, well, I don't have nothing else to offer, so I'm gonna bang it up. That's, it didn't even cross his mind. All he knew is Amanda looks good, I'm about to punish her. That's the only thing that was on his mind. I'm about to do what I do. This girl looks good, I'm about to do what I do. He did what he did. That's all, that, that was it. All this other stuff they bring into the game is just to demean and disrespect and, and diminish the fact that she liked a certain kind of man that the whole black community says she shouldn't like. That's the problem. A man like me. See, I'm that man that y'all say these women shouldn't like. I'm that kind of dude that all y'all say these women should stay away from. You know what I'm saying? I'm broke right now, so they shouldn't, they, they shouldn't like me, right, O'Shea? Nah, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because my, my money ain't got nothing to do with me as a person. But I know one thing. I get a girl in that bedroom, she gonna get punished. I know that much. Because I walk that walk. When I come in, I'm coming as a man. I'm not coming as my job. I'm not coming as my income. I'm not coming as high value man. I'm coming in as Kush the Bruiser. <laughs> you know and I'm about to lay it down. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's who's coming through that door. Kush the Bruiser. You know what I'm saying? Kush the Hammer. I'm coming through here to lay it down. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand what you heard. You heard Amanda trying to tell a story about, about how, how sexually attracted she was to an alpha. But how she had to explain that she tried to reduce it to him being broke. And the other girl reduced it to him being homeless, essentially. Amanda never said the dude was homeless. Dude may not even been broke. I mean, broke is relative, you know what I'm saying? Broke to Amanda is probably not broke to me. You know, broke is relative. You know, I'm sure Amanda's worth a lightweight meal, you know what I'm saying? I'm not worth a meal, so I mean, broke to Amanda might not, might, might, might be fine to me, you know what I'm saying? But they all reduced it, and then O'Shea, who is very, very jealous of, of alpha male. This this dude has a serious problem with strong black men. You know what I'm saying? I listen to his, his some of his stuff, right? You know, for for for, for topics. And I'm telling you, he's very consistent in his views about strong men. This dude cannot stand strong black men. He hates them with a passion. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's sad, man, because why be that dude? And know the crazy thing is. This is the comment I put up on this set. I put this comment up on his page when that video was released a few days ago. And they're still commenting within his that, that, that comment section. But not one person, not just I just screenshot this. Not one person liked up or liked a thumb down or even commented on this comment. You know why? Because what I'm saying is the truth. They butt hurt. Y'all are insecure, man. Why y'all worried about the kind of man that got this woman off? Why do y'all care? Why y'all gotta try to reduce that to a negative? As if the good dudes, 
just don't want to deal with it. No, the good dudes couldn't get off. The, she's been dealing with the she's been dealing with the high value men. They can't put it down because all they focused on is their job and their career and their status. That's all they focused on. So she meets a dude that's not focused on none of that. He's just being a man. He's just being a, a human being. He smashes it out and dash off. And she try to pretend like, oh, well, it's because he was broke that he was able to do that. No, it got nothing to do with that. That same dude, if he was a millionaire, he would smash it out the same way. Because that's a character thing. That's just how he comes. Y'all gonna stop disrespecting strong men and trying to placate to the emotions of these high value fake men. I ain't got nothing else to say. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing else to say. Look, you just think about what I'm saying. You know, it's, it's really a shame that Amanda feel like she had to disrespect that dude just to justify why she got off sexually with that dude. And, you know, it's a shame the other chick had to chime in and all of them pretend like, oh, yeah, yeah, ain't nothing like a dude that, that like, like he's having sex so he can get a place to stay. Just disrespect to the dude. Truth to the matter is that same dude could have been a billionaire. He'd have knocked it down the same way because that's a character thing. It's a character thing. Got nothing to do with his income. And the reason why these are uh, these high value men she's been dealing with, the reason why they they are so bad and bad, because they focus on everything else. It's a character thing. They don't understand what their manhood is. It's a character thing. They approach sex different. They approach women differently. It's a character thing. And that's what it is. And you, you get dudes like Osha and all his band of followers sitting there cheering that on, man. Y'all dudes are hurting yourselves. Because that dude that knocked down Amanda, Amanda's a very, very pretty. I mean, aesthetically, the girl looks good. So that means this dude that got nothing just smashed a famous comedian. Pretty, famous comedian. Tore it down, tore it out the frame, and walked off. He's done better than all of y'all, and y'all sitting there hating on him. Now, you think about that while I ride out of here. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, AKA The Black Alpha. So long.